Okay. Right, so I've got the car hooked up to the new van. Just going to take it for a little tow, just make sure everything's all right. Got the breakaway cable on there, the detachable tow bar with the green showing. Hopefully that should be good. On the uh, electrics, I've got to put a a, um, a seven pin uh, adapter because I've got a 13 pin socket on there. So that's on there and uh, all ready to give it a go. Jenny's going to check the lights for me. Check we can see in the rear view camera. It's a little bit misty that, I don't have to check that. Might just be a bit dirty. And then normally what I do is I try and do it in the same sequence. So indicators, he actually gives me a thumbs up. The other way, yep. Okay, and brakes. Okay, and lights. That's the other thing. Sometimes difficult to see in the sun. Yeah, give us a thumbs up. <laughs> I'm thinking the display is a bit misty, but it's still got the plastic cover on the lens. <laughs> I'll try and take that off. <laughs> oh dear. No wonder it was a bit misty. We're just going to take it for a long drive around the uh, round the block. Um, things I want to check is no um, error messages or anything, because obviously you've got electronic uh, everything these days. Um, I want to check that the indicators work, which they seem to. The car at the back is braking, which it seems to be, and they've got an error message there. It's interesting. It's a check right hand indicator. The indicator was going, maybe I haven't plugged it in fully. I'll have another check in a minute. The binging is from his sat nav because they were in the 30, I'm doing 27. It seems to be following us all right. I'm going to unplug the old sat nav. The other thing I want to make sure is the tyre power for the car works. I haven't fitted the tyre power. On the van yet i'm not sure i'm going to do it because it's already got built-in tpms the van but i need the tire pal to work on the car it's giving me tire pressures on all the tires at the moment so that's good yeah braking seems to be working fine the brakes on this van are much much better than the previous van it's probably the heavier chassis they're probably the larger brakes and they do seem to contribute more to the braking than the car used to if you see what i mean we've got roadworks up here so that's why we're stopping someone's always digging up something for goodness sake i'm going through i'm just checking the trip meter i haven't reset the trip a meter so that's got most of this van's mileage on and that says 26.8 miles per gallon and that's without towing obviously so i'd expect it to be about 24 or something like that if i'm towing the car but we'll see on a long journey got these little blooming roundabouts so again that the steering power steering on this makes it so much easier there we go the other thing to say is i've got a much better view of the car if i get the chance i'll show you that because the rear view camera is, is pointed quite a bit lower than the old one but can actually see the tow the towing frame and the car so that's good I do wish people would signal a bit earlier don't signal when you're on the roundabout signal before you get to the roundabout that said you should never um, trust an indicator you should always see where the car's going before you before you commit to the uh, maneuver it's interesting i've got a little squeak from the back brake which i also had the previous fan as well so there you go the indicators seem to be working okay i've got a few things loose in the garage but it uh, doesn't feel to be struggling at all pulling the car and i notice it's a little bit longer to change up so it's obviously working on it but uh, obviously it's, diff it's different when you've got an automatic because it makes all the decisions for you i probably would have held on to some of the gears a little bit longer there there is an option to change the power mode now where you're going put it on power power yeah it gets up to 40 quite easily but yeah no i mean i find it very easy it's not uh, not a problem towing the car the reason i wanted to check the towing of the car is i'm taking the van into todd's on saturday i have a few things looked at there's not it's not not mega things a couple one thing they spotted but i've got about four things minor things really things i could probably do myself to be honest but it's under warranty so why not so i'm going to take it to them on saturday leave it with them a couple of days and let them sort it out they haven't had the sorry just concentrate on this 
we haven't had the wiring loom for the DC DC converter back yet so they're not going to do that yet I've still got the lithium battery in the back which will fit in due course but yeah I'm very pleased with it obviously I haven't been up to motorway speeds but I don't see it should be a problem there we go so if you found this interesting give us a thumbs up and if you have not ready please subscribe yeah that's the view of the car I've got she's pretty good